In the huge herd of horses galloping their way through the Triple Crown of running this year, there was a pony. Make that a foal, a five-year-old boy, by far the youngest to ever tackle the Triple Crown. Three races, three, six, and ten miles long. And Connor Schiffer wanted to run 13 in the famous Kentucky Derby Festival Mini Marathon. But three weeks before the race, his registration was rejected, money refunded, and Dad resisted. They said they were looking out for his safety, but I'm more interested in any safety than anybody. And if I thought I was unsafe, I wouldn't enter. We look at it from a perspective of how much running experience do they have. Yeah, you're doing good. Connor's parents say his resume is already impressive. Good pace. Seven mile training runs for months. He finished ahead of thousands in the Triple Crown. Tell her about all the people you passed. And the mini marathon last year had nine finishers in the zero to 10 age division, some as young as eight. He's trained so hard for it. And, you know, if they were to look at him as a individual instead of just on paper, they would see that not only is he capable, but he'll be better prepared than a lot of the runners that was there. I mean, he bested 2,100 on the last run. That's a great accomplishment for him and for the family, um, and that is their experience with that runner. Um, from our perspective, the committee and the staff and our partners just are not comfortable at this time. You know, what would it look like for a five-year-old to be out there at the start line with 16,000 other runners? And from a safety perspective, that was a really big issue for us. Connor is their youngest race applicant ever, by far, and the first they've ever rejected. They say it's about more than just running experience. We, we do look at them on a case-by-case -case basis. We look for are they, are they a part of a school program? Are they playing soccer? Are they playing field hockey? Are they playing football? Are they in, in some type of organized sport where they had a, you know, a medical physical, they are conditioning every single day or the majority of the year. How you doing? With more people getting involved in running these days, this controversy raises the question, how young is too young for distance running? Patrick Myers at Apex Physical Therapy was going to tell us a fast-growing five-year-old should not run distance. My knees are just tired. Okay, well, initially I thought, of course, I mean, it makes sense. Don't, don't run it. You know, the child's developing. They're still growing. There's a lot of soft spots. In fact, growth plate, a lot of growth plate left in those bones to grow and expand. And I thought, no, they, they have plenty of years to run. Then he did some research, analyzing studies on injuries of distance runners as young as seven and he changed his mind. But those injuries with the youth participants were about half of what the adult participants had. I hurt myself. Dr. Laura Jacks is an orthopedic surgeon. Of the 100 kids she's scheduled to see today, she says one or two of them will have stress fractures, mostly from cheerleading and gymnastics. I don't personally think that there is a, a uh, too young limit. I think it's child-centered. Every child is different. How you feel, Connor? Yeah. How young is too young for a child to play in two back-to-back -back soccer games? How young is too young for a child to play in a doubleheader baseball game? There, I don't think there is a limitation. There you go, buddy. 